All right, what up, guys? Um, first of all, I'd like to say that this will be my first review, which is kind of a tester review. And uh, what better figure to do it on than uh, Hot Toys Hellboy to the Golden Army Ape Sapien? Um, I, at the moment, I have a good few Hot Toys figures, but I thought I really should do my first review on this guy, as there doesn't, I think this, there's no reviews of him on YouTube, just of Hellboy himself. And uh, I feel this guy really needs a review simply because I think he's a better figure than Hellboy. So, um, yeah, I'll just start off with the box first. Move him over there. But, um, if you have the Hellboy figure, you'll know that uh, the box pretty much looks the same as this. It's, it's you know, it's the same idea slip cover. And uh, underneath, then you have a picture of the guy himself, Abe. And just turn around for you there. Hellboy 2, the Golden Army, Abe Sapien. Um, MMS 84. And there's a picture of him and Hellboy at the back. And there are the accessories that he comes with. He comes with his little goggles. His uh, breathing apparatus that looks like a toilet seat and his belt. Um, maybe he comes with fewer accessories than Hellboy. If you'll have Hellboy, you'd know that on the back of Hellboy's box they don't list his belt as an accessory. But uh, it's just that this guy may be lacking a bit more accessories than Hellboy so that they put that down there as uh, an accessory. But, you know. It's just movie record, you know, he has his he has his gun as well, you can't really see it there. But uh yeah. So uh if you just open it up here, you can see. Velcro. There. It's a picture of the dude there. Okay. And a little bit of information about the character. Um both this and the Hellboy have that sort of a border going around the plastic. It's nice, nice design. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice box for a nice figure. Yeah. So I'll just slip this back on. Itself. Um, I'd just like to say first of all, I'm not going to do too much filling around with him, I'm not going to go swapping his hands or moving about too much because you know he is quite delicate. Um, first of all, uh, I do think this is better than the Hellboy figure simply because it's just a, it's a much neater figure, you know he got a, he got this tight wetsuit on that just you know, just it kind of brings everything together. Um, you know, he's he's a good feeling figure. You know, he's there's a, a little bit of weight in him. Um, the paint application on the on the head and the and the rubber arms is just fantastic. Maybe you probably can't see very well on my camera, but it really it's it's outstanding. It's much better than the the paint job on Hellboy, which is which is good as well. But uh, this is just that bit better. Um, compared to Hellboy, the rubber on his arms is a thinner rubber, so it's a, you can do a bit more movement, you can bend them that bit more, and there's not as much a danger as ripping the plastic on the elbow joint as there is with Hellboy. Um, comes with that nice little gun there, just kind of, you can pull it back, and there's, a, there's like a spring in there, but, uh, I'm not sure with, if it's with all of them, but with mine anyway, the spring tends to fall out, so I try not to go messing with the gun too much. Um, there's this holster just there. That is actually a pain in the ass to actually to close up. There's a little kind of a... You plug a little thing into the slot there. It's, for, it's really annoying. It's why you just have it tucked within in the holster rather than... You, know, you can't really make it out with the camera, but... Uh, 
that is a problem and is quite annoying. Um, the belt is very nice. It's, a, it's very neatly done. It's like Hellboy's now is is, is quite loose. What I actually done with Hellboy's is I, because it was quite loose, I got a top of a biro, the lid of a biro, and I stuffed it in here between the back and the belt so the, so the belt keep on tight. There's no need to do any fiddling like that with this figure because it's, it's just it's very well done. It's, it's perfect. Um, the boots are one piece so you don't really have any sort of ankle articulation but that's no problem, it's fine. Um, 